I'm Robert Rees, CTO and co-founder of Datacle. I'm going to demonstrate the Datacle DB plugin for IBM Urban Code Deploy. Datacle DB brings DevOps to the database and enables agile development and deployment processes. Datacle DB is database neutral and uses a unique model-based approach to easily automate, manage, track, and deliver database schema changes in lockstep with your application code. Datacle DB plugs right into your existing infrastructure and works with your existing processes, tools, and automation frameworks. So let's see Datacle DB and IBM Urban Code Deploy in action together. To download the Datacle DB for UDeploy plugin, simply visit github.com slash datacle slash datacle db for UDeploy. Select the disk folder and then select the zip file. You may have to select view raw to download the zip file. To install the Datacle DB plugin, go to settings, automation plugins, and then select load plugin. Navigate to where you downloaded the zip file, select it, and then submit. You should then see Datacle DB in your list of plugins. We'll now copy an existing process and use that to integrate with Datacle DB. We'll copy the process, select Paste All, and then edit the new process so that we'll know that we're using this one to begin our work with Datacle DB. The Datacle DB plugin uses two properties to make it easier to use the steps in your processes. In this installation, we've placed the properties on the agent. By selecting the agent, then configuration, then agent properties, we can see the two properties that our plugin steps will use. This includes Datacle DB CMD and Datacle DB Drivers Dirk. Now that our setup is complete, we can get into the fun stuff. In this example, we're simply cleaning up a directory, downloading some artifacts, deploying a web application, and running some SQL scripts. Instead, we are going to use Datacle DB to capture information about our database, forecast our changes against the database, and if that's successful, then deploy it. We'll then capture all the reports from our deployment and do something interesting with them. So first, let's go ahead and take a snapshot of our environment. We'll grab our Datacle DB snapshot step. And because we've set up our properties, these defaults are already set for us. And since I'm going to be checking out my Datacle DB project into the root of my working directory, all I have to do is, is set the server that I want to snapshot. Once a snapshot is successful, I'll then want to forecast the new changes against that environment. Again, we'll select QA for our server and select Save. Finally, if that is successful, I do want to deploy the changes to my environment. Again, we'll enter QA for our server and take the default for all other options. Now it's a simple matter of removing this step that executes SQL scripts and then setting up our new process workflow. We will now update our application process to use the new component process. Select the application, select processes, select edit, then open the step and select the new component process. Notice that we'll be using the new one, Hello Process Datacle. Now we can deploy our application. We're going to select the latest version, which is 5.0.
as we can see, we're executing through our steps in our process using the hello process for Datacle. As you recall, this is the one that we copied and edited. We'll see that it's executing um, all the various steps up to steps four, five, and six where we execute Datacle DB. When this is completed, we'll be able to see the output of Datacle DB, see the highlighted lines of interest, and get a better understanding of the output properties of our reports. These are very useful, these output properties, so that you can zip them up and store them uh, for later use. We'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll look at our steps. Let's go ahead and look at the output log. And we'll see that we do have the log file and the snapshot highlighted for us. This information is also stored as an output property. The log file and the snapshot. We can then zip these files up with another process step and store them for later use. Let's look at the forecast as well and see that again we have our, our output properties here that specify the log file of Datacle DB and also the report itself. And finally, we have the same for the deploy. Here's an example of the Datacle DB deploy report that we just executed against our QA environment. In this example, we see that we moved from version 13 to 15 and it included the following changes. Notice that we have a table impact summary along with details about all of the changes that were pushed out. This is far easier to read and understand than its raw SQL script. Thank you for watching. Find us online at datical.com or call us at 949-DATICAL. You can find us on Twitter at Datical or on Facebook. Thank you again.